So I went to the printers this morning to pick up the Milk Bellon dashboard. Honestly, I feel like I can do better. But they were the smallest envelope that I could find, so we're just going to have to roll with it. I think I've printed it the wrong way around. And I have no idea why it's printing with a with black marks along the edge there. Hi there, welcome back to another studio vlog. Today is Thursday the 21st of July and we have a lot to do today. But before we get into that, it's been a couple of weeks since I filmed A Day in the Life. So I thought I would catch you up on what's been going on. So we launched our new cinnamon planners as well as three new sizes last week. And you guys, I am so blown away by the amount of love and support we received from this launch. It's been a week since the planner launch and some of you have already received your planners and also left glowing reviews. So thank you so much if you've left a review so far. It means a lot to us. It still blows my mind how my designs have found homes all over the world and are helping you guys get organized every day. That's just really crazy to me. So thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your support. I thought it was super interesting because I thought that the licorice planner, which is the black one, would be the most popular planner. I guess because it's the safest option, um, but it seems that the cinnamon was more popular. All of the ringed planners are now gone, but we do have mini HP and half letter available in cinnamon still. So because the cinnamon planners were really popular, I reckon I'm going to put in an order soon for a restock. I think it's going to take around three months to get here. So if you're interested in grabbing a cinema in the personal or the personal wired or the A5 rings, uh, make sure to sign up for the restock notifications on the website to be the first to know. Um, so let's get started with today. So this morning I came into the office and I printed, I started printing out a whole bunch of 2023 inserts in preparation for the launch next week. I also um, went to our local printers and picked up the milk vellum. So let's just quickly show you guys what that looks like. So I went to the printers this morning to pick up the milk vellum dashboard. And we have here a restock of the pocket spring dashboard. We have the personal spring dashboard. Um, as well as the new 2023 Milk Bellon dashboard. So this is what it's going to look like for next year. The only thing though is because I outsourced the Milk Bellon dashboards, I haven't ordered the FC compact size because um, they're a little bit pricier and I have to commit to a minimum order to make it viable. Um, so I didn't want to order too many just in case they weren't popular. But we do have the Milk Bellons in all the other sizes right now. Okay, so this is how the Milk Villain dashboard looks in our planner and I am in love with how it looks. I'm really happy with how the redesign turned out for the new year on one page dashboards. Um, but for you guys who aren't familiar with what Milk Vellum is, it's a slightly more opaque vellum compared to regular vellum. So just for reference, I have regular vellum here and you can see here that the Milk Vellum is not as translucent as the regular vellum. The Milk Vellum is a lot more silkier um, compared to regular vellum. It's not as textured and it also has the added benefits that it's also water resistant and tear proof which is great for a dashboard because you're not going to be wearing them out as quickly as regular film so i'm really happy with how this turned out um we need to get started with the day um so let's flip to today um so as i mentioned today is the 21st of july it's a thursday um here's my to-do list for today so this morning i spent designing um, some of the 2023 inserts and I also ended up printing them while I went out to go pick up the milk vellums. Um, so I picked up the milk vellums and I also did like emails and comments this morning so those have been ticked off. So today I have to work on printing packaging for my journaling cards which are for the subscription box. So 
subscription boxes are getting shipped out in about a week and a half now so the last thing i need to do is prepare the journaling cards that are going to be included in the next box before i prepare and pack the journaling cards i need to design the packaging for them so we sat here in front of all of the journaling cards and this is what the journaling cards are going to look like for 2023 so in the past i would have just stuck the set of journaling cards into the plastic bag like so sealed it up and put a sticker on top but i've been thinking about ways to be more eco-friendly and sustainable in my business i think other small business owners can relate when i say that as a business you do generate more waste than the average person for example i order my suppliers online and when they arrive they usually have filler material and i also end up with the empty boxes at the end um, and as you can imagine when you have a business you're constantly ordering things every single week so if the filler material is in good condition i'll usually try to keep them and reuse them when i ship out wholesale orders or sell things on facebook and another thing is if you use labels in your business you always end up with the backing of the label paper and that ends up in trash but if i don't use the stickers my packaging wouldn't be branded so in a business there's always a fine balance between having pretty packaging and being environmentally friendly and reducing waste we've switched to water activated tape for our packaging which is made from paper but seriously don't let that fool you because I've tried cutting boxes that were sealed with the stuff and it was actually really, really hard. In the instances where we need to use clear tapes such as our subscription boxes which are down there, we use this landfill biodegradable tape that we got from Officeworks and if we have brown uh, cardboard boxes we use this brown craft tape. But honestly, I feel like I can do better. Um, I know that my business is far from perfect in terms of sustainability and being eco-friendly, but I am making it a mission to implement changes over time to make my business less wasteful. So instead of packaging all of the journaling cards in cello bags, I found these envelopes from Officeworks. So these are just plain white envelopes that I grabbed and they're, as you can see, a little bit larger than the actual journaling cards, which means that the journaling cards can shift around, but they were the smallest envelope that I could find, so we're just going to have to roll with it. And the good thing about these envelopes that I've noticed was that they don't have the adhesive backing like a lot of envelopes do, um, like the peel and seal envelopes. Um, all you have to do is just lift that up, close it, and I think it should be ready to seal. So this morning I designed the journaling card packaging and when I was designing it, I kept in mind that I wanted to have the picture of what the journaling card looks like on the front seeing as the envelopes are not transparent compared to the cello bags and you can't really see what's inside and i wanted to make sure that there was a SKU code so whenever someone else is picking the orders they know exactly what it is um, so we're going to go ahead and try to print this off and see how it goes so upon loading the paper into the paper tray it appears that the envelopes a little bit too skinny for the paper gauge so that might cause an issue when the paper is getting fed into the printer it might shift around like that and print crooked um, but we're going to see how it goes and um, see if it prints okay i think i've printed it the wrong way around so i think i have to actually put the envelopes this way to make them work but I need to figure something out to make sure that it actually prints straight because I think it's going to shift around as the paper grabs it because it's not being aligned by the paper gauge so I'm just going to try to think of how to straighten it. So what I just did was get the envelope that misprinted and folded that a couple of times as well as some scrap paper and then I just got some duct tape and then taped it onto the side to help fill in the void. So now we are going to hit print and hope it works. I 
I think it looks pretty good, don't you think? I reckon we will go ahead with doing the mass printing now. Okay, so I've got my stack of envelopes, which I'll be using for the packaging for the journaling cards. And now it's time to assemble all of these journaling cards into sets. So I've gone ahead and finished an entire box of these. I'm not going to do the rest of them just because because I have a couple of things that I want to do for the rest of the afternoon. So these are going to be packed um, a little bit later on when I have more free time. Um, this should be enough to tide me over for the subscription box in the meantime. And yeah, we'll get on to the next task. So I just pulled a whole bunch of stuff from the printers and I have no idea why it's printing with a with black marks along the edge there. Um, this is a little bit concerning as this has never happened to me before so I don't know what's wrong. It looks like this stuff of um, inserts is fine. I just don't know what happened here. Okay, so I did a mini clean on the printer and it looks like it's fine now, which is really good. All right, so I think it's fixed now. So I'm gonna go ahead and print out the rest of the stuff. But uh, for the rest of the day, I'm just going to be cutting and punching stuff. So yeah, thank you for joining me in today's vlog. I really loved having you here with me today. I hope you have a lovely day and until next time, bye.